So this guys, this is a video on how to like unlock songs that are locked on your iTunes. If you wonder about my cursor and background and stuff, that's another video that you can watch on how to do that. If you open up your iTunes, you'll you have songs in there. One second as it opens up. You'll have songs in there, but if you try to play them, it'll say browse for file. And then once you you say that and you say no, then it'll put a little exclamation mark next to them. I have the new iTunes. If you don't have a new iTunes, just to tell you, there's a new iTunes out. So, yeah. But right next to that little check mark, there will be a um little like exclamation mark. And now I'll show you how to do that. First, you'll need an empty CD that you can burn something onto. So. Say I wanted to make, say I had Church by T-Pain, all and I want and now had an exclamation mark and I couldn't and I wanted to play that. All you have to do is right click on it, um, say add to, and actually you have to make a new playlist. And um, if you have the new one, um, just say. Start Genius and oh, sorry. Let's try another song. Okay, so it'll make a little thing. And then you'll just say save playlist as love in this club. And then you go and one second. Get a CDRW thing. Then you put it into your computer. Once done that, um, something may pop up or it may not. It probably won't, considering that it is um empty. So then you go down here. And if you can see, it says burn to disk. All you do is click that button. So click it. And first speed, maximum possible. It'll do that for burn settings if you have the newest one. Like I do, just when I audio CD includes the text MP3 CD. And then you say burn. Now, if you put the CD in the wrong thing, iTunes will automatically open up the slot where your CD should be. So I accidentally put the CD in the wrong thing. So I'll put the CD in the right thing. It should go on the rock bottom uh, CD holder, not the top. So one second. Once you do that, just push your thing in, and it'll see it'll say CD, little CD circle right, right there. But yeah, so now it'll say this will not fit on one audio CD. If you have too many songs, it won't fit on the audio CD. It will require more than one blank CD to clean. If you want to put more than one audio CD in, that's okay. I don't really care, but yeah, I'm I'm not gonna do both both of them because I don't want to waste anything. But if you want to, go ahead, and you should try to get a CD to RW because then you can rewrite over them. And with CDRs, they're like done after you do that. So see, it says burning disk installing and they'll write songs so see it's saying writing
Okay, I'm not going to spend all my time waiting for this to load. It sometimes takes a long time, but if you really want those, just do it. So, just, I'm going to exit out of that. You don't, just wait and pause the video and exit out. See, it says, I want to cancel. Yes, I do. So, it will say, canceling, for me, it shouldn't say this for you, it says canceling, this may take a minute or two, and it should finish up, and if you don't know how, all you have to, in, to put a disc onto your iTunes, all you have to do is stick it in, and iTunes will notice it, and it will just, like, um, it'll just start syncing it. You may have different settings where you have to tell it to sync, but I don't. And that. Sorry, guys. I'm a little messed up today, this thing. Okay, there, now it's done. Don't send. Okay. For some reason, my stupid computer still has the little disk symbol. Yours should it if it's working properly. And now I have the iTunes. Just still have it. Okay. Open iTunes up. And all you have to do is open up your cartridge or your disk container with the disk in it. Just open it up, take, close it, and, wait, open it up, take out the disc, close it, and then open it back up again, and put the disc back in, and it'll put it on, and then you just delete the old version, and there you have it. Now your iTunes library is, um, fixed. Also, what you can do is an easier way if you have another computer. Just copy all the, the what? Back up your iTunes library into a folder and upload your folder through AIM or whatever messenger you have to the one computer. And then, um, say file. I don't know if you can see that, but say file. And you would say add folder library, and wherever that folder was, you would just click on it. But you cannot move the folder. Like, if you have it uploaded to your desktop, you cannot put the folder to my documents or mess up. So keep the folder where it goes. You can move it around on your desktop, but you can't put it in a different folder on your computer. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Please make sure to leave comments if there's anything I forgot or if there's anything you want to know about your PSP computer or stuff you can make at home with household items. Thank you. Thanks again for watching, and please make sure to subscribe. Bye, guys.